Hey, greetings YouTubers, it's your main man Black Lion here and um, I wanted to read to you today this article I came across um, on Black Tumblr. Uh, anyway, I was scrolling through Tumblr, I found a link to an article on the establishment.co, on the establishment.co, written by someone, a young lady named Ojima Olu, and uh, it's titled, Dear White People, I don't want you to understand me better, I want you to understand yourself better. And it reads, Hi white person, in my DMs, let me respond here in the hopes that again I never have to. Let's see, almost every day I get a message like yours from a random white person on Facebook, Twitter, or email offering to provide me with the white perspective on what they think my work on race and feminism is missing. Just, uh, <clears throat> just to give a little more well-rounded picture, they'll say, they'll explain, or having been a white person my whole life, I think my insight would be useful to you, or I think I can help you understand how this issue looks to white society, to which I say, physician, heal thyself. No, I do not know everything. I do not cover every angle all the time. Sometimes I'm flat out wrong. But here's the thing, I do know white culture. I know white people better than most white people know white culture. I know white culture, I know white history, I know white politics. I know it better than you because if I knew <clears throat> why you were really in my DMs right now, because if you knew why you were in my DMs right now, you'd be embarrassed. Why do I know white culture so well? Because I'm a black woman. And while I and just about every person of color who has spent their lives in a white supremacist society know enough about white culture to write a book or two on whiteness and the option <clears throat> and option the bestseller movie rights, y'all almost know nothing about us and even less about yourselves. Why? Because you don't have to. I may be coming off as across as arrogant, but honestly, I'm exhausted. From the moment I was born, my life has been steeped in whiteness, not just the MTV I grew up with or the Disney characters I loved, but the white history I learned from white teachers and the white art I learned to revere above all else. The beauty standards I knew I never lived up to. I know what songs y'all like the most, who your biggest movie stars are, how you achieve the hottest hairstyles in your magazines, what fashion you're appropriating. I know what your ideal family looks like. I know what the definition of your American values is. I know what, you're, I know what you find funny and romantic. I know that your definition of success, but it's more than that, much more. I had to learn to talk to my white teachers in a way that didn't seem too boisterous. And I learned why enthusiasm would be disruptive for me, yet welcomed by white boys. I had to learn what level of eye contact with cops seemed respectful and what seemed evasive and what seemed challenging. I had to learn why clerks in the grocery store were following me. I had to learn why the same white people who clutch their purse around me when they have a coin will come running to me for help when they didn't. I know what articulate really means. I know what thug really means. I know what the words tough on crime will do to you and us. I had to learn why a black president scared the shit out of so many of you. I had to learn how many times I could voice my opinion in a work meeting before I was labeled difficult. I had to learn how loud I could raise my voice before I was labeled threatening. I know why so many of you want to say niggas so bad. I know what face you make when you're about to shout at me. I had to learn why <clears throat> so many of you think that people of that people like me are why you are poor. I know why you co-opt our movements. I know why you still expect a thank you. I had to learn why your needs are 
default, but mine are divisive. I had to learn how not to get suspended by white teachers. I had to learn how not to get arrested by white cops. I had how to not get fired by white superiors. I know why so many of you will feel compelled to make me understand that I'm not talking about you here before you will consider reading further. And to know all of that about you, I had to learn how race was invented as a function of capitalism to justify the brutality of genocide and force, the, and force free labor. I had to learn how slavery was repurposed in the prison industrial complex and the school to prison pipeline. I had to learn how your police force was created to return black people to slavery and maintain control brown and maintain to control brown and black populations to manufacture a false sense of white security. I had to learn how the Southern strategy was able to capitalize on the racism that you dared not to see yourselves, even though we could see it as clear as day. I had to learn how the Irish became white when we could not. I had to learn how you could claim rightfully claim to rightfully own stolen land and how you still can today. You have not had to know these things. Even if you studied some of these topics in school, you did not have to know them. People of color, on the other hand, have lost so much <clears throat> when we've gotten it wrong. We've been fired for wearing our hair in styles that you don't like, for hiding our bodies that you decide to hypersexualize, for having too many options, for having too many opinions, I'm sorry, for answering too honestly, for not using our own, act, for, for using our own accents and dialogue instead of yours, for believing you when you said you didn't tolerate racism in the workplace, for teaching history you refuse to acknowledge, for celebrating our beauty that you don't want to see. We have died for walking with a certain swagger, for reaching for our wallets, for asking for help, for speaking with the wrong tone, for giving a menacing look, for playing our music too loud, for not walking away, for walking away, for marching in peace. Your survival has never depended upon your knowledge of white culture. In fact, it's required your ignorance. The dominant culture does not have to see itself to survive because culture will shift to fit its needs. This shift is cheaper and easier when you don't look too closely at how it's being accomplished. If you never ask who is picking up the check and no, you hardly will see us at all, even if you love us. You can't. We don't exist as whole people in most of the places that you have been getting your information from. As much as I'd like <clears throat> you to see me, as much as I'd like systematic racism to simply be a problem of different groups not seeing each other, I need you to first, I need you to see yourself. Really, see yourself first. This is the top priority. Because I and so many people of color have had to stand by and watch you declare we live in post-racism world when Obama was elected when we could see how much the legacy of slavery and brutality was still lodged deep in your bones. It had to, <clears throat> I had to watch the Tea Party rise from your fear of losing the centuries long promise that you always get more because we always get less, all while you brushed it off as a fringe lunacy. I had to watch you high five each other and celebrate the election already won while I could see that your parents, your uncle, maybe even your spouse was going to vote for white supremacy because deep down part of them knew that they didn't earn all that they enjoy in this world. In a couple of years, they wouldn't have the votes to protect the parts they stole. And when the election for extensive for extension of white supremacy was one, I had to watch you say that it was not white supremacy, it was the economy, or it was identity politics, or it was the Clinton legacy. And when the white people across America started doing Nazi salutes in high school gymnasiums and political gatherings, 
when white people started adding swastikas to their profile pictures and painting swastikas on their wall, I had to watch you turn to the nearest person of color and ask, how did this happen? And while I get it, I understand how the entire history of this blood-soaked racist country is entrenched self-delusion would lead us here, I do not actually know what it will take to get you to see it as well. Because we have been trying very, very hard to show you. None of this, not a single word I've written in this essay or my entire career is new. People of color have been begging you to see what you are doing and why. We've been begging you to see what you came from and the true legacy that you have inherited. We've begged you to see your boot on the next as long as it's been there, on our necks as long as it's been there. Find yourselves, white people. Find yourselves so that you can know whiteness, what whiteness is. Find yourself so that you can determine what you want whiteness to be. Find yourself so you can stop loved ones from voting for the definition of whiteness that you no longer want to subscribe to. Find yourselves so that racism no longer surprises you. Find yourselves so that maybe I can try writing fiction for a change. Find yourselves so that the next time you, hit, you, you offer up the white perspective, you might actually have something to say that surprises you. I won't comment, I'll leave you all a comment, but um, I don't know, it just it resonated with me when I read it and I thought I should pass it on to you. I'll leave a link in the description so you can find the article on your own and maybe look it over. Like I said, it was from theestablishment.co. Um, powerful, powerful, powerful. Anyway, until next time, hear me roar.